17-year-old Kevin Ives and 16-year-old Don Henry were struck by a train. The medical examiner has said that the boys were asleep and drugged with marijuana. The parents, however, disputed that claim. I believe that law enforcement officers killed them. What did they did beforehand? Absolutely no, they were alive. A former employee at the crime lab has said he discovered what appeared to be evidence of a stab wound. Malik has refused all comment. Read my lips. I'm not going to comment. The deaths of these two boys most probably were not accidental deaths. And the cover-up began immediately. The people whose testimony might have solved this case have systematically been eliminated. Once I started going through the case file, it had been robbed of most of the pertinent evidence. My interpretation is of that is that they had some reason to lie. I do know that the boys were watching the drop site and they got curious as to what was being dropped there. There's only one use for that type of aircraft and that was uh, smuggled cocaine. They had stumbled on an airdrop. The boys were killed because they had stumbled upon a large shipment of drugs dropped from an airplane. Drug trafficking that involved political figures, law enforcement officers. We know who killed these kids. They are webbed in with the drug trade in the state of Arkansas. Now these are the people that enforce the drug laws, that prosecute the drug laws, and judge the drug laws. I'm scared of these people. I'm very scared of them.